In this video, let's talk about what it actually means to love your sport. If you're an athlete or you're a parent, I think this is a really important message for you to understand. One of the comments that I get from lots of sports parents is that my kid says he loves it and he wants to play at a high level, but you know, I don't see the hard work. I don't see the practice. So I'm discouraged. I'm not sure if we should keep paying for their sports or you know what to do because their actions don't match their words. And what I'm here to tell you is that their actions do match their words, but their words are not correct. So when I was a kid, I loved baseball. At age eight, I started playing and it was, became my favorite thing. And every day you would find me in the backyard, swinging a bat, playing catch with a friend, playing backyard baseball with one of my closest buddies. Every single day, I could not wait to get home and play ball somehow. When I got older, that never changed. There were more structured practices. There were more things I was obligated to do. When I got into college, it was much, much harder. There were 6 a.m. workouts you know, these brutal sprint conditioning days. You have practiced six out of every seven days. The summer or uh, the spring college baseball schedule is very, very tough. And then in pro ball, it's even harder. I was injured a lot. Uh, 140 games in 155 days is an incredibly brutal schedule. You know, I had Tommy John surgery twice. Through all of that stuff, I continued to express my love for the game by saying, I'm here to show up and work for this thing that I love so much. When people say, oh, I love my girlfriend or my boyfriend, or I love my husband and wife, but then they don't talk to them very nicely, or they cheat on them, or they otherwise just don't treat them very well, I say, you know what, I don't think you do love that person because your actions don't match your words. And as an athlete, if you say, I love baseball, I love softball, it's my favorite thing, but then you only practice twice a week on your own or once a week, you don't actually love it. Not compared to me, not compared to so many of my teammates who worked just as hard as I did that it was their favorite thing just the same as it was for me. I think what most athletes have for their sport is like. They like their sport. They like volleyball. They like basketball. They like baseball. And look, that's totally fine. You don't have to deeply love your sport. Your sport doesn't have to be your heart and soul like it was for me. And most people in this world, they don't have a thing that they devote their life to. And that's okay. It's okay to just like your sport. And so for parents, I think this is important for you to understand. Your kid might say they love baseball or they love softball or they love basketball. In reality, they probably just like it because love is a much, much more deep level of commitment. And there's a lot of action that comes with that because you realize you want to be good at it. You want to be the best. You want to succeed. And you just love putting in that time because it doesn't feel so much like work because it's the number one thing you wanna do with your time. And so parents, if you're struggling to say, hey, I don't know if I should keep paying all this money for training when my kid doesn't seem to put all their effort into it, I'd say you have a kid that likes their sport who doesn't actually love their sport. And it might be the case that you should only pay a like amount, not a love amount. You know, maybe instead of being on these incredibly expensive travel teams that are probably gonna wear your kid out anyway because they are so intensive, maybe a more local team is the more appropriate thing for a kid who just likes baseball or just likes softball rather than is so deeply committed to the bones to it. I think those are reasonable decisions to make. But as an athlete, if you have really big goals and you wanna be a D1 player, you wanna be a varsity player, you just wanna play in college, whatever, you wanna be a pro one day, you need to ask yourself and look in the mirror, do I actually love this enough to suffer for it on a consistent basis, especially as it gets significantly harder, especially as my body begins to break down, as more and more athletes are as good as me and I have to sit the bench, am I gonna be willing to work extra hard to get my playing time back, to become the starter, even though I'm not the starter now, to make that team, to grit through freshman year in college, when I might never see the field a single time. That's when your love is really tested. And so I think this, this concept of, do I like my sport or do I love my sport? It's very important. It's important to be self-aware and to look yourself in the mirror and ask the hard questions. If you just like it, that's absolutely fine. That's great. It can be this amazing thing that you do that you're not wholly invested in, and that's okay. You don't have to be a world-class athlete to really enjoy being out on the field, moving your body, competing, and being with your friends. That's what sports are for, all right? So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I think this is a topic that's useful to discuss as a sports family. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll see you here in the next one.